Hey there, I just wanted to pop in here today and share with you something that's super important for you to get clear about if you're growing a soul aligned business. This is a timely message, not only for whether or not you're a spiritual entrepreneur, but also just for humanity in general. We are at a crossroads where we get to choose. Are we going to identify with who we truly are and grow our business from that place? Or are we going to stay identified with the smaller self, the egoic driven mind, the personality identity? And so the number one way you're going to be able to identify this in your business is if your goals are self-serving. And I truly know from experience, and you've probably experienced this phenomenon, and if not, you will, as you align with the essence of who you truly are, the God self within you, the, the core of who you truly are, your true self, your higher self, whatever you want to refer to it as, that you're the part of you that's connected to all things. As you start to connect with who you truly are and you truly do start to live as if you are this infinite being having this human experience. You know, it sounds really good on an Insta Instagram quote, but are you doing it? Are you being it rather, right? Are you embodying this? Are you truly living as an infinite spirit, infinite self having this human experience? Or are you solely identified with your personality, with your belief systems, with your conditioning, with your mental body and with your physical body and then making decisions from that place? And here's how you're going to be able to tell really easily. Are your goals primarily self-serving and are they externalized? Are you trying to achieve something outside of yourself and is that the driving motivation for your business? Are you putting income above impact, right? Are you putting your own self-serving needs above what your mission is and what's in the greatest and highest good for all involved? Are you in a state of overly controlling the process, trying to control the process instead of trusting and allowing that everything's working out and allowing the universe to do the heavy lifting because you know that you are connected to all things. And so life supports life. You're connected to all things. How could it not work out, right? If you truly knew that you were an infinite being, then you would have that trust and faith. But the personality of the self, right? The personality self wants to control things. The personality self wants to, you know, have all of these external successes and accolades and, and money goals and, you know, clients and all of these external things happening, right? To pump up your ego and to further identify uh, you, the you that you think you are. And this is the you that will always lead to suffering, right? Because you're clinging to things outside of yourself instead of going within. When you go within and you connect with who you truly are and you allow your inspirations to bubble up from that place and their, your heart desires to bubble up from that place, this puts you into natural alignment with the divine plan. And when you're in a natural alignment with the divine plan, then everything starts to work in your favor and doors start to open and opportunities pop up out of nowhere and you're manifesting like consciously like on fire and everything's starting to just pop into your experience. But the ego will get a hold of that. The ego will get a hold of your success all along your journey, right? Because we are at a crossroads now, whether you're growing a spiritual business or not, that we get to choose. Are we going to identify with the infinite part of us, the part that is love, the part that is life, the part that is connected to all things, the oneness within that connects us to everybody, right? Or are we going to overly identify with the personality and the belief systems and, and what it believes to be true and the mental body and the egoic driven mind and all of the fears and worries and doubts that are associated with that? This is a choice that you get to make. And humanity is making this choice right now as waves of people are continuously waking up to higher truth, to higher ultimate truths, right? And your business is no different. If you want to grow a soul aligned business, well, guess what? 
You have to come into further soul alignment. And so if you're recognizing that your goals are self-serving, you're overly trying to control the process, you're making fear-based actions uh, from doubt, fear, or worry, or you're overly attached to external things as a form of success, then you are acting from a self-serving place and the universe is naturally going to just chop you down a little bit, right? And it's a phenomenon that you will bump into over and over again on this journey because you are here ultimately with you, for your own soul ascension, for your own self-realization, for your own coming into union with who you truly are. Whether you're creating a business or not, your business is just a beautiful vehicle and ascension tool for your journey because you're stepping into your purpose work. You're stepping into what your soul is being called to create through you. The divine is working through you. I saw a billboard the other day that said, our plan, your path, and it's so true. You get to choose. You're creating this path. You're walking the path as you, as you, as one step at a time and you have choice you have choices to make right but ultimately there's a larger plan at play here there's a larger plan at play we are moving into a state of really truly recognize the oneness that is connect within us that we are that is connected to all things that is ultimately um the highest expression of who you are when you allow that to be what you're rooted and grounded in. So your spiritual business will not be able to take off unless you are rooted in this stable place. And if it does, then this is when, and I'm not projecting this onto you, but this is when you'll experience a lot of those tower moments down the road and a lot of upheaval. If you're building something with a, with a shaky foundation, right? It's going to come crumbling down and you cannot be a light leader or a sacred leader on this path and journey and be leading from a self-serving place, leading from an egoic driven mind, leading from the smaller personality self. You may achieve marginal success through efforts and glimpses of alignment. And the moment you get sucked out of it, you're going to experience this phenomenon when, where everything else crumbles around you as a reflection of your misalignment. When you come into alignment, this is where poof, all of a sudden now magically doors are open, opportunities are popping up, things are falling into your lap, your, manifesting, your manifestations are just popping, they're on fire and they're so divinely guided. And there's a sense of flow and release of control and allowing that sets in, right? Because you're surrendering more and more to a plan that's larger than you, to something that's working through you, whatever you wanna call it, right? And you're surrendering to this more and more and shedding layer and layer, bit by bit of the mask and the illusion that you are separate from everybody else. And we're all on this journey together and we're all at different phases of it. And your spiritual business is your number one ascension tool because you are literally coming into alignment with what you're truly here to do. And what you're truly here to do is to wake people up as a way shower and as a light leader and live by example and shine your light. And not from this false sense that um, that is egoic uh, mind driven, right? And not from this personality self, but from who you truly are. And if you start to build your foundation on a rocky foundation, it's going to come crumbling down or it's gonna feel like you take a few steps forward and then you get knocked down and you have to take a few steps back again and that's fine. And ultimately what's happening is you're not really being knocked down, you're just giving the opportunity to peel away more of the illusion. And everybody gets to make this choice right now, whether you have a spiritual business or not. Are you going to choose that you are this infinite being, the spark of creation, this divine love that literally is an expression of all that is in this physical form, having this little dance and duality, right? And really truly living from that place. Or are you going to continue to identify with the personality, the belief systems, the conditioning, the mental body, the emotional body, and the physical body, and buying into all the stories and all the dramas and all the traumas and everything that's associated with that and suffering and then will continue to be? 
because it cannot be any other way because it is all externalized into this reality where there is this physical reality where there is good and bad and there is up and down and there is black and white and and you're always going to get sucked back into this like ping pong game with your awareness going back and forth when ultimately you need to suck yourself out of the game altogether and come into alignment with who you truly are and operate from that place and build your business from that place, from the highest intention that's in the highest and greatest good for all involved. And this doesn't mean you can't have physical manifestations as a byproduct of you coming into alignment and outputting so much high frequency and shining your light so brightly, you already know universal law well enough to know that what you put out is what comes back to you. But you're not even doing it for that reason. You're doing it because when you connect with who you truly are, you have no choice but to put out content that's in alignment with who you truly are, right? It, it's the natural byproduct. And of course, then everything that comes back to you is a byproduct of that. And it can look like money and it can look like success and it can look like the books you want to write and it can look like you doing all the things you want to do and it can look like all the clients and it can look like this beautiful house and all of these things that you want, right? Like all these beautiful relationships and all the things that you want to manifest in your life. But it's always, 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 always going to come back to being a byproduct of who you are truly are and if you're operating from the essence of who you truly are which is this infinite being having having this temporary physical experience in this in this physical form and you operate from that then you're going to be in alignment and that's soul aligned success this isn't about creating goals and just trying to uh, check a box and hit a target that's externalized that's fine for you know, you can, you're, you'll look around reality and you'll see so many other people and you'll be like, God, why can't I just like do that? Like, all you got to do is like follow the steps, step one, step two, step three, get the result, right? Well, you didn't sign up for that. You signed up to ascend your soul at rapid speeds during this incarnation and you are going to get thrown all of the opportunities to do that. And anytime you are leading with, uh, you know, an overly identified sense of self, because we all have ego to some degree popping in, right? We're, you don't have to be an ascended master on this journey in order to create a soul aligned business because you are in your own process and on your own journey. But this is the awareness that you have to, to have to bring it back to center and then bring it back to center again and then bring it back to center again as you continue to grow on your journey and at every level of your business and at every stage of the game and it gets easier and easier and easier to do that as you uh what's the word i'm looking for as you embody it recognize it in your life realize it in your life right and realize with awareness who you truly are and having this higher state of awareness as you do that, the ego is going to go down kicking and screaming. And if you're overly identified with the lack mindset or the limited beliefs or the victim mindset, then it's going to be really hard for you to break that pattern because what you cling to for your identity, you don't want to let go of. Your ego doesn't want to let go of. And so your ego doesn't want to let go of the, the belief systems, the personality traits, the, 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 you know, the mindset or the, you know, the ways of being that you are expressing right now that are not in alignment with the highest and greatest good that you're identified with. The ego doesn't want to drop those. And, and that's when you have, you know, the dark night of the soul and the tower moments and stuff like that. And if you're, if you want, if you're watching this, I'm sure you already know what those are. And they're beautiful things because it just leaves you one layer lighter, one layer closer to liberation, even though it's right there in front of you, right? It's still a process to detach from them. So I hope this video finds you well. If you liked it, um, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you uh, resonated with this, then check out the free masterclass that's below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. You can also find it in the link in my bio at Spiritual CEO. And if that masterclass resonates, you will 
have an invitation to hop on a free strategy call with me where I help you map out a specific soul aligned business blueprint that's unique to your message, your mission, and your gift and who you're here to serve and help you build a business that is in complete alignment with soul aligned success. So I hope this finds you well and until next time, namaste.